So Bitcoin is sitting at $66,600 right now, as you can see. And the overall case scenario of Bitcoin, uh, I mean, it did hit our $68,000 area that I had shared with you in my video. It is bullish. So based on this structure, I was still expected to rally towards 68 and break that and go towards um, $70,000. And I gave you the indicator at 66, even though the support is at 64,500. Um, the support is not 66, it is 64,500. From where it is fighting and rallying all the way up. If you have not, as I had shared with you in my previous video, the case scenario has not changed. Uh, it went towards $68,000. Uh, it ran into the resistance, then it dropped back towards 66,500 and then the overall struggle started. So now, even though this is the support that it needs to hold, otherwise it will fall down to the other support that we had previously, which is at 64,500. But we do have an indicator right now for this overall rally, and that is at 67,300. If Bitcoin breaks above 67,300 and starts living there, that is going to indicate is going to break 68 and it is going to go after 71 72 but the thing is that if it is not able to break above um, 67,300 what will happen is that um, bitcoin will actually drop and it will drop towards 66,500 where it is sitting right now and then it will break this too and it will be on its journey towards 64,500 and of course when the market starts bleeding then there is always a possibility of going lower than this and then the next stop is at $62,000. So this is the overall perspective for the month of July, but I always cover 48 hours situation. So what will happen in next 48 hours? So I'll come to that. And um, I mean, I didn't cover it in the rest of the videos. I make 10 coins videos every day. If you're not subscribed, you wouldn't notice. But um, in case of Bitcoin, the next 48, case scenario, 48 hours case scenario is very simple and straightforward. It needs to hold on to 66,500 if it wants to go towards 68. If it is not able to hold this position, what will happen is that it will just fall down towards 64,500 and that is the case scenario for next 48 hours. The larger case scenario, I have mentioned it to you that your indication for a larger time frame story is that will it live above 67,300 or not? If it does, it goes to 72. If it doesn't, it goes to 62. <laughs> it's kind of in between that area, but that is for a larger time frame. For a smaller time frame, I've already told you where is the support, where is the resistance, and what do we expect.